Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. And today's video I got for you is the topic of how to convert yourself to a superhero. And of course, I don't mean by dressing up in a costume, running around trying to save the day. That would be dangerous. Do not do that unless you have tons of money like myself and you can afford a Batmobile. No, the only Batmobile I'm getting is going to be a miniature scale. Okay, so at any rate, here we go. I got uh, a picture of me. Dun, dun, dun. There's me with all the gray hair and junk. It's awesome. Um, so at any rate, there's me being silly and taking a picture into my uh, my MacBook camera. Uh, I do this, you know, quite often just for fun, kind of superhero selfies. It's a good time. But at any rate... What I do is I take this one. I'm trying to get a really hard pose. And I know a lot of people are going to frown on me and say, oh, it's messed up, Rob. You're, you're a tracer. Uh, I call it studying. I don't call it tracing when it's stuff like this, and I'll show you why. All right, so I take the picture of myself in all its awesome glory. You know, I just love the, the extreme foreshortening there. So I drew, you know, I drew a sketch layer over top, and I'll show you. I, I start to tone down my initial layer and uh, you know add more into the sketch layer uh, and, but I change it if you notice that's obviously not my face at that point um, I stayed pretty true to the hand and arm here I had to start figuring out where the muscle would go because I wore this baggy shirt because I wasn't about to t-shirt myself on YouTube here not yet anyways so you know I'm starting to kind of sketch in the muscle I'm not gonna you know no superheroes wear baggy shirts so I'm gonna X that out by the end of it um, and then by the next stage, so I got my real rough sketch there. I've already started to embellish. I can do away with that now. Um, and you see it's just real scribbly. I didn't even try to stay true to it. I captured just the, you know, certain lines, certain uh, landmarks like the, the nails there help you to tell which way the uh, fingers are heading. You know, it's a real quick, easy way to, to draw hands, always fill in the fingernails there. And I changed the face, you know, I wanted the face to look a little bit more, uh, I'm still not happy with this one, but I wanted to look a little more uh, mean superhero, I, I don't know, just, you know, changing it up to what I would normally draw a stylized character as. And again, starting to do away with the shirt, like so, and starting to get some of the musculature in there. Alright, now in the next stage, I add a lot more of my style, the, the way that I draw comics, you know, I, I even changed the brush to be, um, oh, excuse me, I'm on the zoom tool here, I even changed the brush to be one of the ones I use more for like inking, and I start scribbling in uh, more of a little bit more line weight and definitely a lot more style, like you see the face from the, the sketch that I did is now changed pretty dramatically and definitely a lot dramatic uh, very dramatic from uh, my initial picture so that's where I that's where I don't feel like this is tracing at all you know by the third layer um, I've got a lot more style going on here and now what I'll do I've changed proportions obviously you know I'm pretty cut dude but I'm not that cut so um, and definitely not that bulky and cut so you know I'm also now adding a lot more hero-esque and superhero musculature and obviously the proportions are still very off I'm, I've got a very bubbly kind of anatomy here that I need to chisel up uh, I do like the arm here I think the shoulder looks a little bit high but you saw in the picture that's really how it was but you now you want to make changes based on style you want to say yeah that's cool and all maybe that's the really the way it looks or proportionally it is but I want my superhero's shoulder to be over more, and I want the hand to be not quite so big. Like if I if I shrink this hand down a bit, it will take it so much from being this very dramatic perspective. You see that right there, how that all lines up. That's that's the field of view or whatever, and that's why this hand is so big to the camera. It's a distortion. So if I want to start making changes, so well, I like the big hand. It does pull the perspective more. But control T and I'm gonna just grab that sucker and you know just size it down a little bit more like so I might take this back arm it looks like he's got a case of the the tiny arm take my little hand it's my strong hand just you know scale that up just a little bit more 
Something like that. Uh, that might be too much. But this is where your your you know your visualization as an artist comes into play, and you're still you're still creating this art. You're still you know I could have looked at reference. I could have looked at magazines and pulled some of the poses, and then looked at the pose and drew it over there. And and some people would even say, well, you're cheating there. They're not pulling that from your mind. But that's not true. I mean, all a lot of art and style is is you committing, you know, based on drawing over and over again, you commit a lot of stuff to memory, right? But then the other part is that you're just adding your style into it, and that's what makes it your art. So don't feel bad about doing this. Like I said, this to me is more like homework than cheating. You know, I just look at it like I'm studying right now. I'm studying the way that, you know, foreshortening is always a tricky one for me. So, you know, to look at it and see, oh, okay, the forearm comes just in front of the bicep here. And you know what? You can, you know, you can kind of... Uh, like I, if I would have drew this without looking at this, I might have drew the bicep here, lower to the arm, um, and it, it might not have been as correct. You know, one of the rules of thumb that I always think about when I'm drawing uh, an arm is that the thumb and the bicep kind of line up. So I would have thought, oh, I could have put that sucker right in here more. When in all reality, you can clearly see by the way the picture was, the bicep is actually pointing this way, um, towards his ear, up towards the side of his head. So. You know, and you got to remember the thumb has a pretty wide range from the opening of the thumb. It can go, you know, pretty far over left to right or whatever, uh, rotational from its, you know, the socket of the thumb or whatever. So, you know, there's a lot for interpretation there. And that's where doing this, again, is more like studying. And you're going to start committing stuff like that to memory. And then eventually you're going to go to draw it and you're not going to pull any reference. So, you know, I when I originally started drawing superhero stuff I couldn't draw you know uh, a straight on shot to save my life I, I never pull reference for straight on shots anymore you know that's just easy stuff now and profiles are, are insanely easy I can almost you know draw any profiles now without um, doing any rough sketching at all so that's that's what happens and that's what I'm trying to say this stuff is very good especially for a young artist to practice and you know get a feel for this stuff and don't worry by the time you overlay these layers uh, like I'm doing here you're gonna add so much style to it it's gonna be your own anyways and especially if you use your own pictures who's gonna really get mad at you you know um, you see a lot of haters out there and when they you know they see that you used somebody else's layout for instance they freak freak out hell and high water you know so and that I can see that's another artist's hard-earned work they made those layouts so don't do that but grab your layouts from life they're all over the place and there's nothing wrong with that that is that is again that's you training yourself as an artist and teaching yourself and then by the time you get to this stage right here where i've got it pretty much roughed out um i would take get rid of this little arrow here i would take this uh let's see down in opacity one more time at least uh, i like to draw multiple layers to get to my finished artwork but now that i've got it to that uh, let's see, I'll do under the chest here. The shoulder, oops. One more layer. All right. The shoulder still looks a bit clunky or bulky to me. Uh, remember that the chest muscle is like five muscles that string from the uh, middle and bottom here, and they bulk up. That's kind of why I always draw this bulky area there. But now that his arm's raised, it wouldn't be as bad unless he's just a really big beef head but the chest always gets bulkier to the side because those five muscles they kind of string and do like this that's why you get a little bulked up area there so FYI go back there boop, boop. okay uh, bicep you know now first comic book bicep I'd bring that sucker way up like you know have it peek up over the shoulder like that you know and that's that's a little bit extreme but it's you know it's comic book so nothing wrong with that and then the shoulder, maybe you'd see a little bit of the separation of one of the muscles the shoulder has. Uh, let's see, under the bicep, you're going to get a nice, you know, shadow of some kind. Maybe fill that in. And it usually comes up into the shoulder like that, like so. 
you see a little bit of, I want to say this is a muscle, but always it always looks like a bone to me, especially when you're drawn like uh, from reference from, you know, bodybuilders, it always looks like there's, this, this is a bone in the arm. So it might be, check your anatomy books for that, you know. The tricep always has this weird shape right here, and it rolls down. And see, now, this is all, you know, from memory. I'm not looking at anything right now. Um, I've drawn enough superhero stuff where, you know, I can fake the muscles uh, pretty good or decent, you know. I'm not saying my anatomy doesn't need work. It does. It's it's another thing that you'll constantly be improving, uh, you know, to the end of time with your drawings because anatomy's got so many little details and intricacies. Like one, this part right here, the tricep goes around the elbow, does something like that, um, and then you got the elbow, and then the way that the back of the arm connects around the elbow, it's hard to explain, like, and then hits the forearm is tricky. Um, so that's one where I would want to see reference you know but at least from my you know perspective and, and what I've committed to mem memory or not um, I could feel myself struggling a little bit more in there and in all honesty to hide that I'd probably just throw a nice fat shadow on the bottom of the arm which it's going to need that anyways and bam kind of get around that like another one I do right here you know you've got the soloplex and rib cage comes up and around down like this or you know you couple different ways you could draw that the easy way is just to draw these little three little ribs right there you know and there's more especially with this stretched of a pose and then the lat I kind of cheat and just do this nice smooth line lats really aren't quite that smooth but you know again comic book stuff but then right here underneath here just to look cool and to add a little bit of depth to this I'll put a nice big shadow right there Which it totally makes sense because, you know, he's got his hands up like this because he's shooting some kind of power is what I'm imagining, right? So there is going to be a nice hefty shadow and he's got this big, you know, hulking arm there. So there's going to be a pretty big shadow that drops down onto the, the lat there. And then maybe some little shadows off the, uh, where the ribs connect to the lat, stuff like that. So you just start going through there and filling in your style. You know, that's all it really is. Um, let's see, and now that I... And always zoom back. Like, even zooming back like that, I can get a better perception of what's looking right and what's not. Something still looks funky to me with the chest here. Uh, it's probably because I need to take the chest and just flatten it right out right here. If you look in the mirror and you, like, lift your arms up, your chest does that. It'll start to pull from here, and what seemed bulky will now seem uh, flat and look, and especially with the arms up, it'll look like it rolls around the soloplex or the rib cage like, like so. Control Z. So I might just want to put a little bit of depth off to the side, but, and that's all I, you know, I keep nipping and tucking and, and moving it around till things look right. Like now this part looks really saggy to me, like the, that part looks too low. But that's all just style choices. Over here you're going to see barely any of those ribs now. They're going to disappear real quick around the form. Your stomach muscles are probably a hair too big, but... Something like that. just keep you know keep working with it but you see now I'm not looking at the original reference at all I took a very minimal amount just the pose from it uh, and I'm on my way to creating you know a superhero shot so uh, that's mainly what I want to show you you know how you could do that and you know definitely don't feel bad about it don't think that you're tracing or cheating because I, I did for a long time you know I'd always hear the naysayers you know say stuff like that and Half of them, you know, if you looked at their stuff, they couldn't draw a lick anyway, so it was really weird that that's who you hear it from. But um, but the thing is, is like, you know, you've got to get this stuff in your brain box, and that's it's a really good way to do it. You're studying the way that the body works, and, and sometimes just grab your sketch pad and work off the uh, the picture itself, and, and don't do it like I just did digitally, but if the tool is there, use it, utilize it, learn from it, uh, so that in the future you can do it just from your your mind's eye and not not need it
Like I constantly, like right now I'm looking at this hand and I'm like, wow, this seems so strange that the hand would be shaped like that. But you know what that tells me is that my understanding of hands is still novice. It's still not right because I'm still looking at this and going, wow, would the fingers been that way? Yeah, they would. I just pulled it from the darn photo, so obviously it would. But that's where hands are so complex and so intricate and what all the different shapes they can make. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to, you know, do what I did and just, and learn that, you know, over and over again until I get it right. Even though this, these bottom two fingers just look really long to me at this pose, but that's the way they are. And see, this is obviously my drawing now with this, uh, this face that I've done right here, but, you know, I see some definite flaws in it. This cheekbone's really whacked out, and the mouth is, is the thing that's really standing out to me. Even the chin's a bit kind of weird. And I just, it was each uh, overlay, I just keep stylizing it more till I get, you know, a really cool effect that I'm happy with. And, and that's what I run with for my finished product and, you know, take it to the final layers. And by this layer, I'm just thinking very... Very comic booky, thick line, thin line, you know, everything's a thick line, and then a thin line, and just variations of that all throughout. And that's how you get a nice uh, illustrated look, you know. Okay, so what I'll probably do now is I'll just go ahead and, you know, because this will be a long video if I sit here and just keep yapping at you and kind of being redundant and saying the same things. and. Uh, I'll just go ahead and time lapse the rest of this so that you can see, you know, a more finished version of this. Um, not exactly sure where I'm going to take it yet, but it's, you know, it's, it's heading in the right direction. So, and then I'll show you, you know, that basically I started with this, you know, little silly picture. Oops, on the wrong layer. Little silly picture of myself right there. Dun, 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 uh, and turn it into that right there, which is very much a comic book look. So... All right, so stay tuned, and I'll show you the finished rendition. All right, well, there we have it. Um, this is somewhat of a finished product. I'm probably gonna take it and digitally paint it and take it a, a bit further, but, uh, and if you want, you can check that out on my DeviantArt at rampstudios1.deviantart.com. But uh, for here, I wanted to show, you know, traditional comic book style, pencil inking, even the background, I went with more of a digital paint background because uh, I wasn't really feeling the planets and stuff. Um, but I'm actually digging the way it's going now. By the time I color this, it should look pretty cool. It's going to add to the, 
the motion and the impact of the power coming off his left hand. So um, I kind of made a character like this before. Um, I think I called him Nexus or uh, Solaris or something. And I changed the spelling because there's like 10 others with similar names, you know. So don't mind if there's any lightness or similarities. This is just me having fun, creating characters, uh, but mainly showing you how you could take your own body poses and make superhero uh, comics out of them. So hopefully this has been entertaining and uh, educational for you. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Um, I'm here if you need to ask questions. I'll try to respond as quickly as I can in between all the other tens of thousands of things I'm trying to do. So thanks very much for watching. Keep drawing. Keep having fun. Bye.